Hey everyone. How you doing? This is uh, the first official run on YouTube for this truck on the Crawlin Park. Uh, I did uh, another one on, uh, and I posted it on Facebook, kind of a short. Um, had a big crash, tore off the bumpers. Uh, it was horrible. Anyway, I've got the bumpers reinstalled a lot sturdier now, and I also put some uh, rock sliders here on the side because uh, the first crash on the other side here, I think it's this side, and it's the other side. It uh, cracked it. <laughs> yeah, oh no, right here where the marker is. So to protect the body and uh, everything else, uh, I, I put some sliders on it and uh, put some different wheels on or tires on it. Um, you guys already seen that video. Um, so we're going to see how they do today. We get lined up. We're going to try out the teeter totter first. My wife is driving the F100 Vitera. Now, um, I got both trucks running on a two cell because, well, we don't need that much power. You know, like a year ago, every video I saw, everyone was saying, it needs to be a 2S, 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 now it's 3S. Now I'm finding that a 3S may be great if you really need a lot of wheel speed, but in most cases, I'm finding that you don't really need it. Oh, there we go. First hole. A good angle. See if I can get out of it. Oh, nope. All right, we'll try again. There we go. Even though I have the GoPro on the patroller right now, it is kind of hard to pay attention to both things at the same time. I really, uh, my hat's off to all those who can drive one-handed and film with the other. Because this is a whole lot more difficult than the person thinks. All right, we're doing pretty good. A lot better than did last time with the other tires on it. I think those bumpers look really good. I was able to get most of the lights working. I haven't worked out that bug yet. Alright, so now we're just starting to slip a little bit. You can see these new tires are pretty soft. If you look right here, you can see the bulge. So they do conform, even with the foams in there. Okay, so I think we're almost at a tipping point. Pretty darn close. There we go. So far, I think it's doing a whole lot better than it did last time. At least these tires grab a little bit. You know, the other ones are more of like an all-terrain highway tire, which would uh, be great if you're doing occasional off-road, but that'd be about it. 
So let's see how my wife does, since she's already gotten ahead of me. You need to go back to the beginning. I'm sorry. Do I really? You're not sorry. Yeah, you do. No, I know. Wait your turn. <laughs> you were off of it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you were off of it. I figured it was All right. the game. <laughs> All right. So, in case anybody don't know, this is my favorite truck. And if she dumps it, she's in trouble. And right now she's got a great advantage because she's not filming while she's driving but still has a tendency not to look to see where her damn tires are <laughs> all right so this one here again it's almost at a tipping point this truck is not as heavy so it has to go a little bit farther back up a little bit oh if anyone has a teeter-totter at home or thinking of making it the one big thing to remember is that once you get to that tipping point you can control how fast it comes down by backing up just a little bit all right so i guess i'll move out of the way So far, I'm pretty happy with like the suspension. I was kind of wondering because it was, the shock seemed to be sticking, but as time's gone on, it seems like they've gotten a lot better. If anyone's seen the uh, Twin Hammers video of me trying this course, you can see the difference between the brushless and the brushed. How I have so much more control over the throttle than I did with the other truck. Although the other truck was fun. Alright, so we're on to the sticks. It'll get me up to the tabletop here and we'll let We'll let the other truck come. And that's what happened last time. See? Dog got it. Try that again, except this time I'll pay attention. Oh, hung up on a piece of board. I need to tighten my swapper clutch. There we go. Okay, so now that sticks out of the way. Cheater. <laughs> you didn't even let me recover.
All right, you made it. Yay. All right, so now coming up is our, it's uh, rather a steep slope right here. Um, these trucks have quite a bit of drag brake, but it doesn't, I mean, all the thing it does is it just slows them down. See what I mean? All right. So all it does is just slow them down. Kind of like that. All right, so now we're on to the, <clears throat> the rounds that I cut just for the park. All right, time for you to come down. <laughs> Very good control there. Try to power out of it. Or go off. Or go off. I don't want to break anything. All right, I'll continue on to the log. About to go off. All right, remote cheat time. Try that again. You know, I did a drive run on this, and uh, probably because of filming, the reason why. I can't get over it, right? All right? Let's try that again. We're gonna locate some rocks. This course is still a work in progress, so. And this is also the difference between the short and long wheelbase. Okay, so just so everybody knows that was cheating.
this part right here <clears throat> um, you can really tell the difference between a short and a long wheelbase as if I got a rock down in here and that gets moved out and the short wheelbase truck has a hard time with it all right your turn the other way and I'll go forward I guess I'll have to find a better piece of I'll get it you got it all right yay like a champ Off we go. <laughs> I thought you had it. I thought I had it too. The thing about logs is once you start going over, it's hard to recover. I guess that's why we have it up here. I win. Okay, your turn. Quit moving. <laughs> Throw me off. You're gonna go over. You'll do what I did. <laughs> You're not careful. Didn't go over the other time. You made a smart aleck, aren't you? You look at see what's the best way to go at that yeah, and you're at the wrong side there you go thanks for the help there you go all right so uh what i did this time around is i uh 
made carved out this area a little bit bigger so give it a better opportunity to get a truck up through there before your like half a tire was on this edge once that bark's gone there won't be anything and the other part what i got going on what's left of the log i cut it in half we're going to incorporate that with the crawling park and i'm in the process of digging the mud hole so that ought to be fun and it'll come all the way up through here and up through the old fire pit which i've moved now over there come up through here those logs will go over here and we'll run up underneath that bridge with the sticks there and uh up the bridge over well, that's my plan for continuing on the park we'll see how it goes anyway everyone thank you for watching you can get out and crawl today go ahead and do it thank you